Because this is evidence. No, because once you're the son, God says unto the son, thy throne of God is forever You're preaching now, you're preaching, you're not seeing anything. You're not preaching. You're not providing evidence. What does bigotry mean in English? The father just told the angels to worship the son. Can you explain to me bigotry in English? What does it mean? She's ignoring me now. She's ignoring me. I'm providing evidence. I'm learning English. What does bigotry in English mean? Okay. So in the Greek, the Bogota monogenes means of the same essence of God. He comes from God, and he has forgotten. No, in a way, that he has not created. Mean? You know, if you are married, you would know bigotry. What does bigotry mean exactly? But you're not married, I'm afraid. You need to go look up, up the word because you're saying this. I have enough of you. No understanding of what that word means. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, can you tell me about that verse? No, I'm still here. Goodbye. You said you had enough of that. I'm not. I had enough of speaking. Yeah. Hebrews 1. What does it yes. say? Why are, you, why are you trying to claim? Hebrews 1. God, it, it talks about the Son. He created the world as it done for us in Colossians 1. It talks about the Father saying to all the angels to worship the Son. And then the Father calls the Son God. He says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of righteousness. And that's all we were talking about. Did Jesus create the world? Is Jesus the creator? Um, this verse clearly states that yes, he is. And also the Father is telling the Son. Uh, telling the angels to worship the sun and also uh, calling him God. I mean, it can be clear. Well, you've got to come but, this one. Like I said, you know, the scripture I mean, is absolutely yeah. full of the deity of Christ. It's just this specific verse. Is like so, so, so where does it, okay, so where does, where does the sun, where does the father say to worship the sun or the sun to worship the father? Where does the, father sorry, where does the, the father tell, so you mentioned. What I just read. In yeah, sorry, because I asked you. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Said. I didn't. Okay. Hebrews. Oh, Hebrews, sorry. Yeah. So I'll read it again one more time. Okay. 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 Sure. Right. So, to which of the angels said he any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee? We were discussing the word begotten, mon monogenous. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The same essence as the Father, which none of us do. We are all created beings. We don't, we're not God. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, and I will be to him a father and he's to me a son. Sorry, read that part again where it says uh, about worship or begotten or... Sure, okay. Again, when he brings him into the world, he says, and let all the angels of God worship him. Okay, so obviously we know that worship is only to God alone, right? Okay. In the Bible and yeah. I would say in the Quran, yeah, would you say worship is just for God alone, yeah? Okay. So yeah, God alone, but he's not talking about the sun. Okay. He is. He's saying when he brings him into the world, he says let all the angels of God worship him. Okay. Worship the sun. Okay, yeah. So continue with the verse. And then it continues to say, unto the sun, he saith, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. So are you saying that the so key this is word the here... calling the sun God. Your throne, O God, is right. forever and ever. There has been an eternal relationship here. Like, I know it's a difficult concept, you know, to understand God as being so much more than we are as humans, but he is so much more. So can I ask you, so if someone is called God, does it necessarily mean... Okay, so if, for example, if I, we know that in the Bible that, that the devil is called God. In fact, if we look at the Greek, it uses the word theos, right? So for example, in John 1.1, 1, 1, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was ho theos, right? So therefore, if we go... To, yeah, you can have a look. And that's, I already know that verse yeah. because that's another very clear uh, indication of who the sun actually is and what his identity is. Not necessarily, but we can discuss that in a second. Goes, I mean, it's very long and it gives a lot of detail. Shall we read that? Now no, we hold, hold on one second. No, but I, I want you to actually um, draw out a very important point here. So you're using as an example, John is saying that Jesus is God. He's saying that he's come into this world. In fact, let's read it, okay? In the beginning was the Word. Okay. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Okay, then it's going on to say who the Word is. The same was in the beginning with God. All okay. things were made by Him, the Word. All things were made by Him, yeah? Yeah. I mean, can we say that about anybody but God? Of course we can't. Okay, should we okay? discuss that? Or? All things were made by Him and without Him nothing... It's made. It's made, yeah. Okay. So what version is this? This is the KJV. Okay. It says it in every every version. I mean, the message is the same. The Word is God. He was there from the beginning. He created the world. Um, in him was life, it says, and the life was the light of men. Okay. And then it says, which is a very interesting one, 
the yeah. light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. Okay, so I think you just have to decide if you're of the darkness or the light in terms of are you comprehending yeah. the amazing riches that are found in the scriptures regarding who Jesus is, his identity, his true identity. Yeah. Then it says there's a man sent from God whose name was John. This because it's written by John. Right? Okay, can, can we just... Witness, okay? He was not that light, but sent to be a witness of that light, that light being Jesus. Yeah. That was the true light, which lights every man that comes into the world. So then it says, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, mm. and the world knew him not. Okay. He was in the world, the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He okay. came to his own, and his own received him not. But yeah. As many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. It goes on, the word was made flesh, dwelt among us, we beheld his glory, full of grace and truth. Can we and discuss John? Okay. It's very clear what he's saying. Okay, Jesus let's... Let, this oh, world, okay. Is God. All right, let's, let's discuss this. Okay, so we got John 1.1, 1, 1, right? It says, in the beginning was the word, right? Now... I would argue that you're doing something called eisegesis, right? Eisegesis is when you are you are taking an interpretation that doesn't exist into the text and you are applying it to the text as if it exists in the text when it doesn't. Right? right? Well, hold on one second. What, what do you, I okay. mean, how do you interpret that he came into the world okay, that he let's, created? Let's, sister, let's, the world received sister, let's discuss it. Him. Let's discuss it. No problem. What we need is access. Because there seems to be yeah. like what, yeah. this. What you, you need access. Uh, absolutely. more like there's absolutely. a barrier absolutely. there where you will not receive no, 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 what, that. No, no, no. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that... God. Hold on. So, because there's two people Sorry, that's come now right so before, didn't we? yeah no i remember okay so the reason why i would argue that you're doing eisegesis rather than exegesis because if we look at john 1 1 john 1 1 contradicts john chapter 17 verse 3 right now if you examine if you examine i, I, I will happily explain it tell me how yeah no problem inshallah we'll explain it right so in john 17 verse 3 right actually open it up and you'll see and then what we would do, we will contrast it between John 17 verse 3 and John 1.1. 1, 1. And also what we can do, we're going to look at the Grolier Encyclopedia, what it says about John 1.1 1, 1, and to who its authorship is. Okay? So right, in John 17 verse 3, it says, And this is life eternal. Okay. And this is life eternal, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Does it say this? Yeah, that's what it Okay. Now, in John 1.1, 1, 1, John 1.1 1, 1 equates Jesus to being God, right? Yeah. So John 17 verse 3 is, com is in complete contradiction no, to it. Not, no, hold on. Let me, can I, I, but you've already said that. Me, no, no, you've said it. So let me ask you. How is it contradicting you? Because I'll tell you why. You, you pick out one little verse. It's, it's, it's exactly, it's complimentary. You do yeah. not, I have glorified thee on the earth. John 17, 4. Let's yeah. continue what it says. Continue. I finished the work which thou gave me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. As Christians, no, carry on, ca no, no, carry on. We carry don't on. believe. No, in carry on the next verse. Existence. Because it, because Jesus we prays that to we be glorified. We believe together in our mother's womb. Now Jesus had a glory with the Father that Okay, continue. The world no, continue, the verse. continue the verse. Okay, continue. And only God exists. Okay, continue, continue, the continue. continue the verse. Now wait, if you link that with Hebrews 1 where he has a glory higher than the angels. No, follow, follow, the the verse. Follow, the no follow the next verse. Because Jesus God. asked to be glorified by the Father. Jesus, Jesus asked to be glorified by the Father. So there's an eternal relationship so, between hang on, you're, no, no, hang on. You're, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Hang on, hang on. You're saying, you're saying, no, no, I'm sorry, you're saying that the Father and the Son always had the glory, correct? Yes. You always, the Father and the Son always... No, I'm saying Jesus is God. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You're saying here that the, 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 the Son always had the glory, correct? I'm saying that With the, the Father. Son, I'm saying that the Son is saying that he is to be glorified as he was So did the, the son even began. So did the Son have the glory? All right. So did the son have the glory before the world was created? Yeah, of course he did. So why does he ask to be glorified by the father? When Jesus lowered himself, as it does says, God have glory say that? No. It says he voluntarily. No, that doesn't say that. Voluntarily don't say that. Hold on. And gave up some so the question, so the question we should ask: The Bible says that. Does God have glory for all time? Here, it's very evident how it all played out and what is. He doesn't the say that. Of Christ, who he is, what he's done, out of love. I know it seems like foolishness because the Bible says that the cross is foolishness. If I always had glory, if I always had glory, why, why, if I always had glory, why should I ask to be glorified? It's for example, if I had the power, if I had the power, right, 
Why should I? Why should I ask for power to be given to me? No, I did not. To be glorified. So that means he didn't have the glory. He didn't have the glory then. But he's quite clearly stated. Question: Why would he ask for glory? Why would he ask? Why would he ask for glory? He's humbled himself. That's not what. That's not what the verse says. That's not what the verse says. All the verses say. See, no, not this. See, Rohan, this is exactly my point. Christians dare do easy Jesus. They have absolutely no proof. Uh, why would Jesus, just concentrate on the question that's been asked. Why would Jesus ask for glory, right, if he already had glory in the beginning as the creator himself? As God, in his divine essence, as you believe, my sister, why would Jesus ask for glory from God Sorry. if he had the glory from the beginning? That's the question we're asking. Speaking to the Father, he already knows what the end game is. No, no, glory, sister, glory, glory. sister, listen to the question. Why would Jesus Christ ask for the glory of God? Where's the clear indication from Jesus? Jesus coming to the world he created and being rejected. Um, you know, Jesus being praised. Can I, can I just God telling the angels to worship hold him. On, God calling okay, him on, God. Hold on, hold on, hold that thought. Why are you ignoring all of it? And then plucking it. Oh, why is he asking for glory? Okay, uh, okay. You, it's like, are okay. you serious? Sister, like, it seems it seems it, given a it seem, I really don't understand. No, 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 no problem. It. it seems to me that it I'm, seems to me don't think deeply about it. No, I know. I'm I'm, really, I'm happy to address it. Now, what I'm saying is that it seems to me that unfortunately, no, 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 I'm here to give you a message. I, you know, yes, I care about Sister, your salvation. Thank you for the message, but I I would like to question the message. Okay, so if I have a message for you, right? I'm sure, Sister, you're going to try to clarify or ask some questions about the message I'm giving you, right? It's only fair, right? So obviously. You're, you have a message today, and I would like to question that message. Now, I, I, what I was saying to you before, right, is that if we look at John 1 1 carefully, right, I, I, I will argue and I will stand with this understanding that John 1 1 is in complete violation to so many verses. And, I, I, and I'll prove this to you. I will prove this to you. Because remember, John 1 1 has to conform with all the texts of the, the, the Bible itself. Would you disagree with that? I, I agree. We should, we should Thank interpret you. Each, each verse of the Bible in context. Absolutely, absolutely, one hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree with you. It doesn't have the same content as everything in the Bible. The Bible should conform to all the rest of the passages. If there is one verse, that's why I have so much trouble with the Dawah's picture of right. verses. Yeah. Right. Right. We'll, 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 what we'll do? God is not a man. What we'll do? Right. 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 Do you hold on one second? Do you both agree? Do you both agree with me that John one one has to conform? to the rest of the Bible, yes or no? John 1, 1 does conform, does conform. To the Bible, right. yeah. So let's examine this. Let's examine so, it. so let's examine let's this. Examine this is what I'm saying. Let's examine to see if it's not, if that's the case or not. You've been doing the build up now. All right, all right, all right. Relax, relax, calm down. Relax, get your coffee out. Right, <laughs> right, right. So, right, so if we look at, right, it says in the beginning was the word logos, right? So let's deal with the definition of the word logos. This is why I'm arguing that you're doing eisegesis. There is nowhere in John 1, 1 where it says in the beginning was the, was Jesus and the word was with Jesus and the word became, it doesn't say that. It just says so the in the beginning. the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hold on, hold so on one second. Jesus, who is it? Right, yeah. let's look at the, the logos is not Jesus. Right. Who is it? So let's John look at. Yeah, what right. became flesh? What created okay. the world? Right. What died for us? What I'm going to do? We're going to look at the strong. Right. We're going to look at the. No, John is talking about Jesus as well. John is talking about Jesus when he says the word. Well, first of all, first of all, there is speculation that John did not write John, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. So what difference does that make? Can I make a point? Very. Hold on. I want to finish this point. I want to finish this point. But that wouldn't change. That wouldn't change whom John. Would you allow me to finish? When he said the word. Okay. Would you allow me to finish? Would you allow me? Saying Jesus was with God and Jesus was God. Okay. That's what he's saying. Allow me to finish. Allow me to develop the argument and then you can respond. Yeah. Fair? Fair enough. Right. Your turn. If we look at the, the Greek strong concordance, according to the Greek strong concordance, what does the word logos mean? According to the Greek strong concordance. It's a word. Does it? Okay. It says, listen, listen carefully to the definition of the word logos according to Greek strong concordance. We've got preaching, question, reason, reckon, rumor, mm -hmm. saying, show, Speaker, yes. speech, mm -hmm. talk, mm -hmm. thing, 
treatise, utterance, word, and work. Show me all, in a Greek concord. Hold on one second. All definitions relating to speaking and word. Right, okay. okay. Show me from the Greek strong concordance that the word logos identifies with Jesus from the Greek concordance. Well, of course, the word, because that's like saying, um, you know, when Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, show from the strong Greek concordance the word shepherd means Jesus. You cannot take the, the definition of a word, it's not. Does not yeah. does not show you who it, who it speaks. Okay, You're so not answering about. my question. Oh, hold on one second. Yeah. Wait, wait. Speaking hold on someone. one second. You're not John answering my question. John is speaking about someone. Oh, no, okay. Actually, He's talking question. about Jesus. Hold on. Jesus. Hold on one second. Okay. So okay. So you felt. No, no, so so basically. Are we questioning the identity of the word in John one? Yes. Is that what absolutely. Oh, okay. No, but hold on. But no, no, no. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You okay, have to let so me. So when it says John bear witness of him in Christ, saying, "This was he of whom I spoke. He cometh after me. Is preferred before me. For he was before me." We have that scripture where John says that about Jesus. Okay, this so, is who I was talking about. Right. He comes before me. Yeah? As I so said, your, as your I said, argument's completely done now. As I said, End my sister, argument, if done. you can kindly show... the word in John 1 is yeah. Jesus. Okay. You can go all around the houses pretending it's not, mm. but it's so evident it's speaking about him and then it's confirmed that this is who John is speaking about. Can I just make a quick point? End the conversation, mate, okay? Not being rude or anything, but this right. is a waste of my time. There are lost souls out there. So let's oh, use you want to you you disappear? I'm going to go and evangelise. I mean, I could talk okay, today so you, about... You don't want to actually have a... Watch this, watch this. <laughs> let's, let's and you're the, not going to listen. Let's use a congodious approach. One, Colossians one. Let, I've shown you John one. Sorry. I've shown I, you... I, I, I am more than happy to discuss... I am more than happy to discuss whatever verse that you have. No problem. You're taking us around the houses. No problem. No problem. Who is speaking about in John? Can, Jesus. If you want to know, I know. Can I have a look at the trailer? Clearly, you have no answer to what I said. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'll see why Jesus Jesus you were speaking. I'll, 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 I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why both of you. I'll tell you why both of you would fall into heresy according to your understanding. Okay. Oh, Yes, yes. Okay. So in the beginning was the word. Who's the word? I'll show you how you're falling into heresy in a minute. Well, we're not talking about Islam. We're talking about Christianity. No, no, no. I'm talking about according to your. You're not. You're not doing tip for time. You're not being tip for time. All right. So, so let's have a look. Exactly. So, this is where you believe. No, 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 no. This is where you believe. We can go. This is your book. This is your. You don't want to address your book. You address my book, and then I'll address yours. Come on. Well, you first need to. I want to show you, you how, to to me first. why not <laughs> believing what Can't the Bible just, says, you're just you don't the Quran. You don't use the, the Quran tells you this. The Quran tells you this is from God. Sorry. The Quran tells look, you Allah's word be corrected. Okay. Let's see. In the beginning was the word. Who's the, who's the word here? It's speaking about Jesus. Okay. okay. It's speaking okay. about yeah. Jesus. And the word was with God. Who's God here? God. No, who, God. which one? It was with. Okay. With. It's with Who's Father, God? Son, Father, Son, and the Holy no. Spirit. No, who's God here? Just keep Where does it mention it? it? No, Where does it? No. no, no, no. Who's God? Who's God here? Who's God? The God of the Bible. Who's God, God in the Bible? The Bible. Who? The who? God of the Bible. Who? who? Who's God here? The God of the Bible. No, who's God here? I'm asking you. The God of the Bible. No, is it the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit? The Father. No. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He doesn't mention his name. He doesn't mention his name. He doesn't say he was with the Father. He says he was with God. Okay, okay. That's who God is. God is. Do you know what? I challenge you. Here, the Greek word you say, Theon. Yes, that's right. The Theon is always identified for the Father. Okay, so not there's always, no being around, no, no, not always, being around sorry, the bush. Not always, okay, always, not always. Okay, when Jesus says not in John always. chapter I'm 17, sorry. John, sometimes, John, not, not, sometimes God is no, used Theon, for not the Theos. Father. No, 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 sometimes, no, no. Sometimes God I mentioned, does, no, does mean the Father. I, I mentioned, I didn't mention Theos. I mentioned Theon. That's right. The Theon so when, is always when, for the Father. When Thomas says to Jesus, "My Lord and my God," he's using that same word. No, it's Theos. No, I'm not. No, I'm talking about Theon, not Theos. Subject. No, 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 no. I, I've, looked no, I've looked at the Greek. No, I've looked at the Greek. I've looked at the Greek. In which case? No. Right, okay. No, 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 no. Here's here's right, a deception okay. here. Yeah. So here's here's a deception. It's a case when of... it says Theon, right? It's always referring to the Father. For example, if you read in John chapter 17 verse 3, when Jesus speaks to people and say that this is life eternal, that they may know you, the Father, the only, only true, true God. God. Yeah. What is God used in Greek? Not yeah. Theos, Theon. Always Theon the is the accusative yeah. of Theos. Yeah. No, okay. no. So who is always referred to? The Father. It's the Father so is described as the One is the accusative. Right. And who's okay. the accusative here? 
So who's the Christ 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 here? It's Theon. It's sorry. It's who? Theon, who? which is God. Okay. So wait, which God? God? The, the Father or the Son? Because you believe because Christ. you believe Jesus is God. You believe the Father is God. So which God is referring here then, Theon? It's talking it can't about be God. Jesus. It can't oh, be Jesus. It just says God. It can't be Jesus. Do you know what? That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. If we look at okay, let's look at it. Okay, let's look at the word the whole theos. Now, in the Bible, when it says okay, so hold on one second. So, so if if you you want to say that theon here how only can, means how the can father, you say that, okay, how can you say God here okay. refers to the part of the Trinity when Jesus is separate from from God here? Okay, yeah. He was with exactly. God. So yeah. If you want so to yeah. interpret that, so as you're, father, telling me, you're telling me <laughs> that saying that Jesus is with the Father. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Jesus read it again. Look, look, look. Read it again. Please read it again. And your own Bible, you don't understand your own Bible. We human beings are rational, correct? Please, please. Was no, the he's word. trying to deceive us, man. In the no. beginning was the word. So this is talking yeah. about a long time ago. We've already established that the word is Jesus. Well, we, Jesus we was with right, okay. And the word was with God. Jesus with, was with God. So with can God, God be referred to and, Trinity here? And the word was God. No, no, no. Okay. Let's, no, let's stick to the word was so, with God. There you go. No. No, there you go. That's no, the divinity of no, no, no. You said Jesus here. No, you're saying the word here refers to Jesus. No, 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 sorry. hang on. I'm sorry. We've gone through this. No, 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 yeah, you are going through so many verses. You don't let me complete. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Excuse me, sister. You said something. Sorry, sorry. I just want to. You don't let me complete. You said something really crucial. You said the Bible was a time waste. You just said that. No, no, no. No, 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 brother. Hold on, one second. One second. No, no, no. I know. I know. I know. When it says, when it says, when it says, one at a time. One at a time. You're shown that Jesus created the world. You're shown that the Father said to the angels. Worship the Son. No, no problem. The Father said, no, "The Son no. is God." Do you believe Jesus the Father? Do you believe, do you believe, the, the Je do you believe Jesus the Father? Before the world began, believe... that the Son had glory with the Father before the world began. Sorry, what's your name again? this, 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 this. So and it's like, have, sorry, what's, have, what's, what's your name again? And then you pray to Logos, Logos. Do you believe Jesus? No, 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 sister. The reason why, no, hold on. The reason why, no, hold on. The reason why I said, but here, according to the verse, the word was was God. I mean, so Jesus is God. That's God. The Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. If you change the Sorry, that's heresy. Brother, hold on one second. Spirit. Sorry, I just want to say something very quickly. I just want to, I just want to say something. You have the same problem. Hold on one second. Bear with me. Self contradiction. You're not sure whether. Okay. You're saying I Jesus wanna, was with God, and you're saying Rahan. God here refers to Trinity. Rahan. Hold on one second. Come on. Is the word? Is the Quran? Is the word? Now you're. The Quran is not going to help you, my friend. The Quran is not going to help you, my friend. Is it a book? And it's not going to help you, my friend. Sorry, can I? You're applying Christian principle to Islamic. Sorry, brother. I just want to. I want to mention a point. I want to mention a very important. Sorry, I just want to say one thing. Before you go, listen. I, I know there was a bit of a distraction there, but the reason why I brought up actually your sister brought up John one yes. one. That was the reason how, that whole conversation started. But she actually brought up a different verse altogether, and I was actually discussing that verse, right? So the reason why I was speaking about John one one, because I feel that it's a very dishonest translation, and the reason exactly. why it's a dishonest translation exactly. is for the following reason. And I think you should hear. What well, allow me? Uh, allow me to allow me to I elaborate, me to and then and then we can discuss it. So what I was actually explaining to you earlier, right, is that the word theos in Greek can have multiple meanings. And I'll give you some examples to demonstrate that meaning, right? So if we go, for example, to if we go to uh, the first Corinthians.